So I'm sorry for any mess you see behind me. It's art fair, art show season again, and my studio is kind of a wreck with all the ephemera that goes into going to these shows and things. So yes, but that's not why we're here today. The reason why we are here is Loot Crate. That's right, it's that time of the month again. Time for Loot Crate unboxing. So. I'm Tree, and this is Loot Crate, and this is The Shinies. So, this month's Loot Crate is fantasy, I want to say. So that's exciting. And Loot Crate makes these really kind of adorable videos between the unboxings. And the one for fantasy was really, really adorable. I highly recommend you go watch it. I'll put a link below so it's easier for you to find. First thing is the first. It's a Dungeons and Dragons t-shirt. Now, <laughs> I know a lot of you are probably much younger than me, but I've been playing D&D &D since I was five and it was the first edition. So this is kind of one of the best things I have ever gotten in a box. Princess Bride playing cards. They're so cool looking! Dude! Okay, I'm very excited about this because you can't have your fantasy games and everything without Game of Thrones, evidently, anymore. So, how about a flash drive to put those things on? That's uh, pretty cool, actually. It's... It's the Direwolf standard. That's pretty cool. I'm not a huge Game of Thrones fan, which I'm sure is, you know, some sort of anthem, but I do kind of like it. I, I, I more get stuck in all the, the death and violence and everything. Um, something that is gold and apparently inflatable. Let's see what this is. Do this without looking at the, the, the packing info. Oh, I know what it is. I can tell what it is. It's an inflatable crown. There we go. Inflatable crown. A nine and three quarters Harry Potter bag tag. I guess you just put it on your bag and it's cool. Badge. A little dragon and 20 sided dice bow tie, which is cool because I don't have a bow tie and I kind of want a bow tie. And it's that Dungeons and Dragons red again. If you don't know, the first edition of Dungeons and Dragons came in a red box, and it's like they have since reissued it in a red box, but for a long time it was not in a red box. Game of Thrones magnet set, and the Loot Crate, you know, guide to the thing that has like little articles and stuff in it, which is cute too. And of course, the box looks like is a combination of a quest map and a sigil. Pull here to turn your crate inside out. That's what it says, so we're gonna see if I can actually do that. I'm not entirely sure why you're supposed to, you know, pull it open. But I there but there's probably the possibility of turning it into um, a DM screen. 
Dungeon Master screen for those of you who don't play Dungeons and Dragons or role, tabletop role playing games. Okay, so that's cool, and Fantasy is actually a really good box. After Covert, I was kind of a little disappointed with Covert, but Fantasy's cool. So I'm going to go play with my toys, and bye. A box to unbox.